My neck and shoulders are killing me. I went for a hike with my husband. A super heavy backpack was involved. If you're in the same boat for whatever reason, just start with some shoulder rolls with me. Oh, so squeezing the shoulders up by the ears, really feeling in that tension. And then exhale, slide the shoulders down, back and around. Inhaling the shoulders up, squeeze. Exhale, drawing them down and back. Slowing down your breath. Inhaling as you squeeze the shoulders up, tense everything. You can even tense the face and then exhale. Ugh. Maybe move the head around as you draw the shoulders back. Let's reverse. So now shoulders up and forward, back up and forward a lot of times we need to really feel into the tension so again okay to squeeze at the top i'm even pressing into my thighs and then letting the release really be big and juicy beautiful inhale reach the arms up exhale take the right palm to the mat reach the left arm up and over big side body stretch Inhale, spiral your heart towards the ceiling. Exhale, reach a little more with your left fingertips. Beautiful, inhale, back up. And exhale, bend the left elbow and hold it with the right hand. So this is a big stretch. Press the head into the bicep. Draw your abs in. Feel your rib cage move towards your hips so you're cinching the waist as you press the head into the bicep one more huge breath here exhale all the way good let it go inhale reach the arms down around and up exhale left hand down right arm reaches up and over so mirroring me Invite the breath to get fuller and slower in and out through the nose. Breathing in, pressing into the left palm, spiraling the heart towards the ceiling, peak under the shoulder. Exhale, falling a little bit more into that side stretch, both sitting bones heavy on the ground. Inhale, come on up, bend the right elbow this time, hold with the left hand and press the head into the forearm, the bicep, wherever you are and now cinch the sides of the waist in feel the bottom of your rib cage move towards the waistband of your pants it's a little bit of a rounding and then get taller through the crown of the head and the elbow one more breath nice exhale let that go let's tiptoe the right hand out on the side of your sticky mat and then drop the opposite ear to shoulder from here lift that right hand off the ground so you're mirroring me and take it behind you until you feel a really juicy stretch in the neck for all of this for all of us this place will be like a tiny bit different and if you want to make the stretch more intense left hand can hold the ear Cupping the outside of the head. Couple breaths here. Inhaling into the trapezius muscle, filling it up with breath. And exhale fully. That's that cape like muscle around the upper back. Keep wiggling the fingers on the right hand. Take the hand forward. And then back again, slowing down your breath. One of the best ways to release tension is to extend your exhalation. So see if you can inhale for a count of three. Exhale for a count of four. Left hand comes to the underside temple now. Use that to press your head up so everything's really gentle. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, cactus the arms back. Take the right elbow underneath the left. Coming into eagle arms. If this is impossible for you, just hold the shoulder blades. It's the same stretch, so you're kind of massaging. You can even move your fingers in and out on the shoulder blades in the back. Otherwise, the palms can touch, backs of the palms can touch, or palms can touch. Draw your shoulder blades down. So really forcible motion of the shoulders moving down towards the ground. Once you're anchored and stabilized in that place, keep the shoulders down. Think of lifting the elbows up. Very subtle, I should barely see you moving and think of moving the hands away from your face. And now breathe into the whole shoulder complex. See where your head wants to be in space. Invitation to dip the chin. So letting the chin fall into the chest as you hold this position. And now we're gonna floss the shoulders. So <laughs> call this flossing my shoulders. <laughs> Taking the elbows up to the side and down. So it's just like I'm making a little circle in front of me. So imagine your elbows each had a marker extending straight out of them. You'd just be drawing a circle on an imaginary piece of paper in front of you. Reverse the circle. This only works if you keep the shoulder blades pressing down. So it's like you're fighting with yourself. Shoulder blades are pressing down, but your elbows are making these little circles and your hands are yearning away from your face. And if you're doing this in the kind of hug position, it's just as good. Mm. Beautiful. And then find center. We're going to do some cat cow in this position. So I'll show you what this looks like from the side or three quarters. You're just going to inhale, lift the elbows up. Still think of pressing the shoulders down though. Exhale, elbows into navel. Pull the chin into the chest. And beautiful. Inhale, reach. Lift the elbows up. Exhale, round back on your sits bones, chin into chest. Elbows come into the navel. Squeeze everything. Good. Inhale, exhale, deeply rounding the whole spine, chin into chest, press your palms into each other and your elbows into each other. It's like you're fighting with yourself, like you wanted to unwrap the arms, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good, and then let that go. Inhale, reach up and exhale. Left hand floats off the ground this time. So left hand floats off and take the right ear to the right shoulder. Take the left hand behind you. Slow your breathing down, tapping into this deep stretch for the scalenes and the trap on the second side. Inhale three, exhale four, and then right hand to the outside of the head only if you want that little bit of extra traction you can dip the chin a little bit more into the chest take the hand a little bit further back or forward in space only you know where this juicy line is this juicy stretch sometimes some micro movements can help you find it big breath and then right fingertips to right temple press the head up inhale reach up exhale cactus arms inhale send the elbows back exhale left elbow underneath the right this time or coming into the hug shape you know where we're going now so draw the shoulders back and down opposing that action like you're fighting with yourself now try to lift the elbows and send the palms away from your face power up your breathing and begin your flossing so little circles this side might feel really different so a lot of times we think the body's symmetrical but it's not <laughs> often one hip one shoulder is a lot tighter reverse the circles Again, this isn't about the biggest range of motion. It's about feeling into all those little muscles underneath the scapula. Nice. 
Once you're done with your circles, coming into that cat-cow motion, inhaling, yearn the elbows up as you keep firming the shoulder blades down. Exhale, round into yourself. This should feel really good. Chin into chest, squeeze. Inhale up. Exhale, round and squeeze. So it's like you're arms want to flick apart to the left and right of the room as you press the palms together press the elbows together and round once more good and then release it inhale reach up exhale hands through prayer at heart center and just closing with some half moons so one ear to one shoulder chin into chest and take the opposite ear to the opposite shoulder Okay to yearn the chin up a little bit. Hanging out in any juicy spot, send your breath there. And slowly coming to center, just close the eyes for a moment. Notice how the shoulders and neck feel. I like to take my palms face up in my lap. This helps the shoulders relax even more. Tune deeply into yourself, noticing any changes from when you started this short practice. And of course, I'll post here a video I suggest doing next if you want to follow this short shoulder stretch up with something more active for the whole body. Sending you so much love from my heart to yours. Namaste.